look at this process and you look what's up here, there's 14 different activities. We, we looked at all, a number of activities that you see in a typical high school, and then we looked at the activities that we know defines what good teaching and learning are. And then we tried to reflect that in developing spaces that facilitate that. So simply put, we named the forts the forts because when you were a little kid, you used to grab tables and chairs and blankets. You have movable walls. You have uh, furniture that's on casters. You have opportunities to really move and deliver instruction in a variety of ways. You do get used to, as a teacher, teaching amongst four walls and you get used to having your doors closed. And it's just you and your students. Well, at Canyon View, there's no such thing as a closed door. It's very visible, it's very open, and you get to see what your colleagues are doing, so you get to learn from your colleagues, as well as refine your own practices. Three pieces to the accelerator. One is community connections, having access by the community to use the space while school's in session, Number two, auditoriums in high schools are dead spaces. As you know, if you do the time study, most of the architects in here know that 60 to 70 percent of the auditorium time can be underutilized. So that's designed so that it's utilized. Teacher training, that's the second leg of the stool, and the opportunity to have job-alike trainings for our staff. We can't fit everybody all the time in there, but we can bring out job-alikes. We can bring our English teachers, our math teachers. They can group. The, the accelerator is connected to each of the high schools. They each have an innovative lab that they can connect. If we have a guest speaker, it's a two-way communication. So beauty and inspiration was an element um, as some of the more traditional ones. So you can see in terms of the modeling and shade, buildings perform shade for themselves. Well, it's, it's a research we partnered with Arizona State University in testing a new technology called face change materials to provide comfort to spaces. And so that's the pedagogy here at Canyon View High School. It's to deliver instruction in a variety of ways so that your students are constantly engaged. 